Hey everybody. Here I'm uh, pretty excited about when Fleur came out with this at the CES show. This is the Duo R camera for uh, small UAVs. And this is the unboxing. And we've got uh, our bench cable, power supplies and whatnot. And the camera. That is your unboxing. Uh, also came with, I don't know if they're sending this out with every kit, but I also got uh, a little power, power pack. You know, it's just a USB power pack with, uh, with a cable. Because the uh, Duo Fleur camera is not a battery powered in the sense that it does not have a battery internally. It must be powered externally. Uh, the whole idea that I have behind this is that I have a few copters around here. I've got my AD1, which has a Zenmuse gimbal, which is what this is for. I've got a Phantom 2 with a Zenmuse gimbal. And as you can see, they are virtually exactly the same size. I did weigh them and they are within a few grams of each other. You can see that uh, aside from the dual lenses on the Duo, you know, we've got the visible and the uh, thermal lens, as opposed to the single on the Hero, but they, they both have the uh, record buttons on the top. The side ports are virtually identical. You've got the, uh, on the inner side, you have the, the SD card, then you have the USB port, and then up here you have the HDMI, all in the same exact configuration, both cameras, even down to the uh, Bluetooth button on, on the side on both cameras. With the exception of the SD card being too, too far towards the back, um, they're, they're almost identical, and the problem that raised was that once it's in the tray, you can no longer reach the SD card. You have to pull the camera out every single time. Once this is in the cradle of the gimbal, I noticed that at the show, they were appeared to be using a different clamp for clamping this to the, the gimbal. Because as you can see, or I hope you can see, but because of the uh, thermal lens being slightly off-center, uh, the band clamp no longer fits. So my solution was to rubber band the camera on. And you have to be careful doing this because, as you know, these ribbon cables on the Zenmuse gimbals can break easily two rubber bands because you can never be too safe. And I did find that this had an advantage over the clamp in that because you cannot access the SD card anyway, this allows me to flex it up a little bit and you can then get the SD card out. And here we are, just uh, quite simple, app Fleur UAS. And then we're going to turn on our, our remote control, power up. Your aircraft. And once again, the, the, the Fleur camera is getting its power from the Zenmuse gimbal. So if you're using another brand uh, gimbal, you got to make sure that the USB port is providing power to um, the camera. One of the issues that I noticed right away is that uh, there's, no, there's no preview on the app. 
So you have to be connected. You have to be connected on your downlink to, to a, either a diversity receiver or whatever with a monitor or your fat shark goggles. But as far as the app goes, there is no preview, which I was, I was very disappointed in that. I, I can't help but say that. Now we're going to go to our app. And there you can see. There we go. Found. Loading up. Okay, so we're up and going on the app and uh, on the screen there. So on the screen, I wanted to show you a couple things. Um, I'll go back here. I'll go out of that. And this is what I really want to get to is the MSX. Um, what that is, is that's the overlay. Uh, now if I pull this down, you can see on... Uh, on the screen there, you display that the visible light goes away, we bring it back up, and then you can see the visible light. Now you may notice that uh, the two images are out of, uh, they, they don't line up. But you got the horizontal and vertical adjustments here, and this is one of my issues right now, is that this uh, does not work, you see it just uh, snaps back. Uh, no matter what I do, and it does not change on the screen. So, um, can't do anything there. Uh, the, the different uh, color palettes, we've got white hot, which is basically black and white. White would be the, the hot, the dark is cold. And we've got a rainbow palette, which is uh, just a wider range of color. I prefer the hot metal. And uh, let's see, video display mode. Um, here we go, here's the visible. There's the IR, the thermal. And here is the picture in picture. And I prefer the IR with the overlay. And you can see how far apart the uh, images get. This way. This way. There's Tara and myself, and I'm only about 30 feet away, so we'll go up and back, up and back. That's uh, height, 50 meters, that's 150 feet up. Tara, come. Alright, we'll bring it down to uh, about 35 meters. That's about 100 feet. Directly overhead, and it, as you can see, you can see a blob, but it's not that great. Yeah. think 
of the Fleur duo? Well, I love the fact that they chose the form factor of, of basically copying the GoPro so that they could uh, fit into a Zenmuse gimbal or any gimbal uh, for that matter that will fit the Hero 3 Plus or 4 series cameras. And uh, I love the fact that you could bring back to life a Phantom 2 or repurpose any of these uh, uh, quadcopters, uh, AD-1, uh, for some night vision uh, activities. Unfortunately, for me, uh, it falls a little short. As far as uh, thermal imaging goes, they're, in my opinion, they're, this is a good shot out of the gate. They're going to have to step up their game and I would say at least double their uh, image sensor resolution because right now I could see this being used for building inspections, roof inspections, things like that. Uh, search and rescue, things like that, no way. So great out of the start a try at this. Great form factor, I think. Needs to a few little uh, mechanical uh, difficulties with the, a few things. But the main thing is better sensor and to, to get their software to work with uh, overlapping the images, the visible and the thermal. So that's it. I, I hope you enjoyed the uh, review. hope it's useful to you in making a decision whether this camera will work for you or not. And please visit our website at uavtechreview.com. Thank you very much. Good day.